Hello. Hello everyone. Good uh, good afternoon and welcome to the Moroccan food culture again. We are here to to um, uh, share with you a recipe that's really very popular uh, especially at, the, at this Ramadan time with the which is the bread. Uh, well, um, a, a flat bread or msimmin. Msimmin it's um, a layered bread that's um, that's made with uh, with basically sometimes with just plain flour but uh, today we are going to do a little bit uh, uh, two two ways we are going to use um, the, the plain plain um, simmon which is a layered bread uh, like uh, just uh, with the, with some plain flour and some semolina we, because you can mix the flours together just to give it that bit of extra uh, side of healthy a healthy option really with the with the with the semolina but um, also i'm going to show you one other uh, recipe which is um, stuffed bread which is you can use it with that the dough that we are going to to make or you can use just uh, like um, uh, puff pastry and that would be really a, a, an easy simple way to, to do something like that and you can even make it in the air fryer Ooh. <laughs> so yes that this is something that I thought I'll share with you and hopefully uh, you you can try it and uh, it's it's really a good way to to use vegetables with the, with the with some some pastry okay so to start with I have here some uh, uh, you can use anything you can use any um, anything that you like really i have here uh, some onions and i choose the red onions because they have that sweetness that's a bit of sweetness uh, sw sweeter uh, taste and i used uh, uh, yellow pepper you can use any pepper you like uh, i had some mushrooms i chopped them smaller then i had uh, i have some um, some coriander here I have some harissa and some garlic and I have here my magic box of spices <laughs> so and this is now it must be familiar to you and I'm going to use cumin and uh, paprika and a bit of turmeric in this recipe you can use a bit of chili or like I said harissa and I also you can uh, have some olives but it's up to you that's what you what you like to do so the this recipe the main thing of it is you have to leave the the, the stuffing to cool down and that's why i i have uh, some stuffing that i i, I had uh, prepared earlier then uh, i will um, i will share the, the recipe with you with the puff pastry with that one anyway so let's just start with this now really it's not a rocket science it's everything um, um, put together then then you can Oops. just do a, the safety button okay so let's um, just warm up the, uh, the oil first and uh, once once the once I once the the, the oil is warm I can just start putting things together just get a spoon so yes uh, to start with I'll, uh, once the oil is a bit hot I will add the onions um, I'll move this further here so you can see it Oops, you can see the, the pan Onions. So that's the, the onion. Just start. Not hot yet. So always when you do the onion, always a bit of uh, or a bit of salt. It's handy, and it's it brings it, it helps the onions to 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 get brownish quicker, and um, it's it's really helps it to to uh, cook uh, taste uh, to make it become really much tastier oil and add a bit of oil about three to four teaspoons uh, tablespoons of oil So 
this let's move it a little bit so we want this to to start to start frying but not to go very uh, very brown and i want it to, to stay a bit a bit firmer so we can have a bit of body in uh, in the in the onions as well as other things so that's it. and like i said i i do this and leave it to cool down then move on to to do the the dough You can use spinach, you can use um, uh, red peppers, green peppers, anything really that you, you like. Uh, courgette, you grate, you grate the courgette and the uh, uh, carrots, grate them and, and do this with them and just like make them like a stuffing. And that would be really nice, nice way to, to put some, some uh, vegetable in, in the bread. Once it starts to, to look like trans, uh, trans, translucent, um, I, would, uh, I would add my mushrooms. It's getting there now. Because it would continue cooking with the other ingredients. So I'll, I'll add my mushrooms. Like you know, the mushrooms they soak all the oils as well. So I want them once the, the heat through them. A bit of just add a bit of salt to the for the mushrooms. And all my oil is gone. The mushrooms start to look like uh, start to fry. I'll add my peppers, and you can smell this start to come together really well. So what, why I, I do this is just because if I put them in like a um, um, row they would go through the, the door and make holes in the door and I don't want that. Then I'll add a bit of garlic. And I have here the garlic is meant about a teaspoon. to be uh, cooked like cooked through but not not wet and not uh, not like to keep it dry is the best so I have here some paprika I would say about a hip teaspoon um, then I'll it depends how big is your teaspoon because mine is, is tiddly. That's why I put a, a hip teaspoon. That's why. But if it's big teaspoon, just put half teaspoon. And then just mix everything together. If 
if you fancy a bit of the uh, harissa you can add a bit at this stage uh, like just uh, once it's all you can see now it's all wilt down and it's, it's quite nice and dry so the harissa goes next so again it's up to you how how hot you like it if you don't like the, a lot of heat don't put any uh, it's up to you. If you have any children, don't put any any chilies. <coughs> and basically, that's my stuffing all done. So once you you do that, what I'll add, I'll add some uh, um, coriander. And mix well. At this point, if you have some olives and you want to chop some and put them in, that's fine. You can add them. You can add some tuna if you are. Uh, you can eat. If you like some meat, like some fish in it. You can. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> you can add some um, some uh, uh, prawns, uh, like chop them and put them in, and um, that's uh, anything really. If you if you had some um, some rice, it's just small portion of rice left, then you can put it in as well, just to to add to add it to this. Uh, and this is really a nice nice way to use this vegetable, any leftover vegetables that you have in the fridge, as well as as um, as I said to have it with the bread. So once it's all done. What I'll do is, because I would need this, this pan later, I will just move my pans and put that in there. Just leave it to cool down. Just spread it out so it it cools down quicker, and I'll just leave it there for now. So I'll I'll move my I'll just move my things around. Now, what I would like to to share with you uh, uh, next is the how to make the dough. So for the dough, I have here some uh, uh, like i said i have some semolina you can put wholemeal flour instead of semolina and i have here some plain flour and i also need some uh, some salt Oops. so about half teaspoon to your taste how much you like the salt or how you don't like it so it's up to you then i have some that's basically what i need for the dough um, very rare that I put a tiny bit of uh, of baking powder or or, uh, or yeast, uh, but I'm not going to put any today. So then you mix it. So like a lukewarm water. That's what you need, and you just. As you as you go in, you mix together and you need like press put, put a bit of pressure on. Just give us really good like punch 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 <laughs> as you go. They just keep keep. Uh, more water and you can see you want it you want it a bit uh, loose but you don't want it too thick you don't want it too light if it's too light it gives you hard time to to shape and to do what you have to do with it later but if it's uh, and the reason why I don't put any yeast is because uh, it does um, it does make the 
the dough very light and the, if when you come to fold it and all that it's really hard to do so and like I said you can just use plain flour for this recipe as well it's not uh, if you don't have any of the the ingredients that I mentioned the whole meal or semolina just add so all that water would go in this is really helping to to shape to uh, knead the, the 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 dough at the same time it's shaping it's like taking it making it really nice and gluteny a bit too so if you have any questions uh, please leave them on the on the comments uh, later then I'll, i will come back to you uh, after the, with, with this, if I, when I say this, uh, so this is really look, it's all done, and like I said, your dough is ready. Now, what you can do, I can add a tiny bit more water. I feel like it's still not quite uh, loose and what I am trying to do is just to make it easier for myself to work with the dough really that's what one thing that I'm I'm trying and that's how it's uh, it's it makes it easier so once you do it that way because it's all all sorted all all done So the next thing I would do is I would put this water away. So I left a bit of semolina there. You can just use flour. And I have here some uh, butter with the vegetable oil. So a little mix a mixture. I uh, like uh, melted butter. That's what I put there. So I put my hands in there and I just go like that and put it around the, the dough then what i go i go like this and start making the little balls and putting them in here in the putting them in this uh, this bit of oil here so on this tray You might find this a bit fluffy, but it's really nice when it's done. Okay, so oh, that's the oil from the... So let's uh, just put them there for now. And make them again, just little balls like that. You can shape them as you like. Um, and you can make them as big or as small as you like. So and just that's what give me my hands are giving me that. I, uh, so this would make about eight... Uh, seven to eight uh, roti or or msimmen was as we call it msimmen and if you've been to morocco you might have seen this or you had this uh, at breakfast time uh, the hotels the service the, anywhere you go the coffee shops you might see if you are in the souks you you might see the woman making it and uh, like uh, a lot of women they make a living out of of making this kind of bread and selling it like street food um, so all these little things like like you come across when you are uh, you travel so this one is a tiny one so shape them like that this one is a bit big So that was about 250 uh, uh, grams of flour and that made me um, made me eight eight little uh, bre flat breads 
if you see them like that, that's there they are so what i'll do i'll just put a bit of oil, oil and butter on the top and just leave them to relax a little bit then i'll come back to them uh, uh, while i'll show you something else okay that's our dough done i'll just leave it there it's not uh... okay so once i have done that uh, for that part the next bit what i, I toast I'll, sh I'll share with you is this this uh, easy uh, easy peasy or e easy peasy way to do to do it if you don't want to make the dough and all that so what i have here is our uh, our uh, lifesaver for pastry easy to to find in the supermarket and it's really handy to make something like like this and you may you make it really nice and you, you sort of make pasties really and they are uh, these pasties might just look as uh, like nicer than what you buy in the shop and healthier extra healthy so so what i have here i'll uh, what i'll do is i'll just take the, the puff pastry like uh, put it down on the uh, on the uh, shopping board and I go in the middle and I just go right down <coughs> then just score it right in the middle and like really uh, put it in uh, half like uh, half it then I'll go again on this this way and I, I i will put about eight eight squares so if i keep them like that so one two three four okay again this big but it's okay so about eight here So eight squares, I would just put them like that. Then what I have, I have that uh, stuffing that I, I had earlier, but that's, it's too, uh, too hot to use right now because it's still, it's still hot and I don't want it to spoil my, uh, uh, I don't want to spoil my, uh, my recipe with putting it on the, on the hot with the puff pastry, it would go soggy. And I want my puff pastry to be a bit uh, a bit firmer, so I can cook it in the air fryer really nicely. So the next thing what I will be doing is um, what I what I have here is some stuffing that I made uh, before. And in this one, I had peppers, I had spinach, I had sort of some vermicelli, and um, I could um, add a bit of. Um, coriander to that and I could add a bit of uh, harissa and that would would make it oops would make it more nicer even better than before okay so that's basically my my stuffing that I had it in the fridge so it's cool and and really nice and ready to to use so and what I'll do, I'll take some a teaspoon or like well a tablespoon really or more and put in the middle like that and you can use as much or as little as you like. So just to keep putting some more there because you need it you need them a bit um, it's uh, f fuller, not just bread, not just the, the dough, you need more than that. So once you do this, oops, I need two more here. This one needs a little bit more. 
this one will do it as well. Okay, so once I have that done like this, like 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 this way, and add a little bit on that one. So you can see it's all like really nicely done. So what I do is you take the two corners opposite and you put them together. Then you take the other two, two opposite corners and you put them together and you press into the middle. Can you see that? If you can see, then you just nip, it, nip the, the edges like that. So that's like a like a little um, what I call it, like purse. Uh, so just put them together like the corners, and press in the middle. And what I because I don't want any stopping to show. I just nip them really like so. And then again, this one the same way. I didn't make them very square, but they they do they they would do the job. I suppose it's not. Um, so just make make that shape of like a little purse. Oops. And what I do? If they are not square, they don't take a, a nice shape. But yeah, like that one is not. It's better if you can make like the squares really square, <laughs> like uh, when you cut the dough, that would be much better. And like you see, like uh, I said, the 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 puff pastry it's really it gets warm and it start to uh, like doesn't work for you quickly. So you have to be to leave like you have it really cool. That's the best way because the, this place is quite warm now. It's just gone. So then I'll take another one. So this is only I'm doing this while I'm, while I'm waiting for my other dough to. So once I do that, what I'll do is. I'll take some, like an olive, and I'll press it into the middle bit, like so. All the, the imperfection won't show once they are cooked. So you just try your best. So press it like that. So once you do that, what you do is you take your a tray, and I've got here my uh, my uh, uh, air fryer tray. So just spray it a bit with some some uh, oil spray, and I put them I put them like that. This one it's gone open, but it's all right. Um, just I'll cook them like so. so. Prior to that, what I've done, I got my um, uh, I've got my uh, my air fryer uh, warming up. And what I have here is well, I'll brush these first, then I continue with the rest. Just brush them with some some uh, egg and I give them an egg wash. And I will put them at 15, 15 minutes and um, uh, at 190. That's what I'll put them in for.
uh, my air fryer is like a um, like a, an oven air fryer so it's up to you how how is yours and uh, for the temperature i always say when i do the when i start doing these things a little bit in the air fryer i just say it's up to you uh, like you know, your time is it's um, the time is up to what what kind of air fryer you have really because some of them are are really um, quicker than others for some reason the technology and all that and the, the capacity or how much they so once i do that again i'll just The good thing about this um, this uh, door is ready to use and it's all like um, like spread and everything. You just have to cut it. And the only the only downside of it, if you are working in a warm part, uh, warm area, that's what that's where where it becomes a bit difficult. But you can control that if you if you like. And you can see now these are like nice and shapes. And you can do that with the stuffing that we, we made, um, like the same way with, we made this, the other stuffing. Um, so it's, um, it's entirely up to you. You can put some cheese inside them as well. Really, this kind of, of, um, of recipes, it just allows you to make something different. The dough is playing with me, really. It's quite. Uh, it's gonna. This 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 one is quite big. So now again, I'll put some some olives just to I'll bring them over here so you can see. Suppress them inside. So, when you do it, please don't do my mistake. Just cut them like the same size, so they do give you a lovely shape. It didn't work for me this time, but um, yes, just try to make them. And this time, I'll put some cheese again. Some. Egg wash. I will put some uh, a bit of uh, blue uh, poppy seeds. You can put any seeds you have. Um, sesame seeds, any seeds really, or some cheese or whatever you like. It's so just um, uh, I'd like at Ramadan time. This kind of pastries are really well well used and uh, uh, all sorts of them you can you'll see them in, in so many formats and uh, and styles and and tastes and all that so let's uh, put our And see this is getting really nice now I'll just put some cheese on on top of these because they're getting they're getting cooked so 
that's uh, the cheese ones. Okay, so that's our, uh, <laughs> that's by the by, the, our uh, other recipe done. So let's go back to our door. Um, I'll thank oh. Okay, I still have a few minutes just to show you two or three of these, uh, how to cook them and how to do them. So what, I, what I'll be doing here is, I'll take that uh, oil and um, let's take my, my uh, dough and just spread them like that and put the, the butter and the, so, like so. Then put a bit of semolina in the middle. And what the semolina do is to just to keep it like layered. It helps it to give uh, give it really nice layer when you start fluffing them. That's what what does to them. So once you do that, when you do it, just make sure the edges are really uh, thin. You don't want them very 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 thick because that won't be nice. And you can see, just do it that, that way. Put a bit of semolina again and fold it over. Then a bit of uh, butter and put some semolina. Then you start folding a little bit and put in the semolina in between and fold. Then fold and fold again. So basically, that's what you want to show to have. It's like little, um, like little petit pain or something like that. <laughs> like a, so, and you can see the layers there when you cook them, when you flatten it, and you cook them all. Them they would be, they would show really nicely. So let's uh, just start here. Fold it again, this one. You see the, how the, the dough is really easy to work with now that you uh, left, we left it to, to rest. And like, like any dough, if when you leave it to rest, you can go back to it and it's much easier. It doesn't fight you and uh, it's really nice and smooth. And you can see, you can work with it with really no problem at all. Then you put uh, again some semolina, just uh, uh, sprinkle a bit, and some of that olive oil, that uh, olive uh, butter and oil, and just fold and fold, keep folding and put in there, just like that. The more you fold them, the more it's better. And a bit of oil there. So let's show you how to how to use that stuffing that we did earlier with the, when you do this. Um, so you take one spoon like that and you put it in the middle. This one is the traditional way. The other one is the modern way when you, so you put them like that and you fold it the same way like we did with the other one and put a bit of and you go like that then you fold it again the same way and you try to be gentle with it because this one has the stuffing you don't want it all over so let's cook this one are our first uh, batch of, of the pastry. They look 
really good. Okay. So we'll just leave them there and I'll, I'll cook this one. So, um, okay, so once you do that, you leave it to rest again if, uh, for a bit. You like, it, like I said, uh, you see all the layers, you leave them to rest, then you start uh, putting, flattening them. And that's where, um, then after that, you cook them in, on, in a pan like this, uh, this pan with, without any problem. You can just use the frying pan and cook them. So you want to flatten this, this edge so they, so they can go, the cooking goes through. That's what you want to do. that's that's one done so once it's done like that what I'll do is I'll take it over and just put it in the pan like so and you can see there it's all start like it would start to cook then I'll do the next one can I have a plate please mm -hmm. Then um, you do again and the same thing with the, another one. And once this one is cooking, you want it to turn it before it starts to show any bubbles at the top. And you can see, you see it like that. It's not cooked yet, but we will start to cook soon. We'll, uh, we'll just keep, keep our eye on it. So when you do this again, you don't want them too thin. You don't want them too thick. That's the main thing. And like I said, this 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 aging, they need to be uh, flatter, so they cook through. So I hope this this is not confusing you because I did the two two ways, the easy way, which is with the with the short paste with the puff pastry. And the, the other way, when you can make your own, your, your own, um, your own pastry, and this one you can make bread anytime with this. You can just uh, make some some dough and um, and start cooking uh, like shape it like this, and you can have it. If you have flour in the house and you can, you want to make something quicker, just uh, just rustle something like this. It's really handy. I remember one of uh, of the students in one of the classes. She said, "Nadia, you saved my life because I couldn't have anything uh, for the children in the morning. I and, and I made the flat breads, and they they just loved it. So sometimes it's just that bit of support, that bit of uh, uh, like what uh, like knowledge to do to see what what to do with with what you have in the cupboard." And the kids, they don't like bread, so they would like them. Especially these plain ones, they are not, they, they don't have anything in them. And just with some butter, you can use them, you can eat them sweet, or you can, you can eat them uh, 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 with savory, like uh, as you like. It's up to you what choice you like and what you prefer. Just clear this a bit. This is start to cook now. So you can see, how this is now it starts it's cooking. It's that's how you know it's cooked. It's warm, but don't forget to put the. It's all uh, it's all these things that once you know them, you can reuse them again and again and again, and it's uh, it's handy and I that's that's really why I like to do this because I like to hear from you. What are your experiences? How did you find them? Um, did you did you do something different to share with me? Because it's really nice to to learn from each other and it's really a good way to to just do do it. Uh, differently because although I am giving you this uh, this is as a guide so you can create you might be more creative than I am so that's uh, really something that I <laughs> I like to, to know and to hear from you from you about
And the good thing about this bread, it doesn't need to rise. You don't need it like to. So you can see it's all cooked now. Just leave it there for now and go back to it later. Next one. And this one is the one that's, that we have the stuffing in. So this one to show you how you don't put too much, um, don't, don't flatten it too much. So the, yeah, just gently and make sure the sides like this sides are the more important ones. It's really, it starts to rip like that. You, you don't like it. It, it. it would make a mess for you to, to uh, take it from the plates to the, to the uh, pan. And start tidying off here so we can uh, And uh, when you do this again, just be careful if you are new to this uh, kind of cooking with your fingers and all that. So just stay safe, please. Don't, uh, and you, because you need the pan to be hot, uh, quite hot. So just to make, make sure everything, and uh, if you are doing it around the children, don't let them, <laughs> uh, don't let them do it. Uh, just in case they, they, you don't see them, I know it's, just for safety, a bit of safety. <sighs> so if you ask me how I know it cooks, look, this is how you know. You see this and you can see that it's cooked now. Then you go and you flatten it a bit, just fluff it a bit. Then we'll do the next one. You can put a bit of tiny bit of oil, it's just there. And that's it. Oops. That's a bit open. So I'll take this just to give them from now. Okay. Just to tidy up a bit here. And these are our pastries. So, if you are not confident, just try the first ones. Try these, uh, the the pastry ones. Oops. Yeah, try these first and see how they how you you are conf how you are with them. Then after that, you try the, the next the next uh, one with the dough and everything. So it's uh, then try these uh, and these you can see inside they are all layered like so. You can see them. The layers are so nice and fluffy and cooked inside as well. And that's why we put the the semolina inside in between. One more to show you, then we can. And that one with the stuffing is really nice too. So this is a plain, the plain cement, and that one would be the stuffed one, and this one is the, the stuffed pastry. And this one, when you open it, is really nice as well, and you can see. So of course, this is a puffed pastry, so it's really quite, um, quite layered with the with the bokhar. Oops. So that's our um, our stuffed one, which, as you can see, it's really nicely cooked. And like I said, you you, you might say, oh, how do I know? So look at this little brown uh, spots like that 
and that's how you know it's cooked and like like I said this one it's all like fluffy and nice inside so I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope um, you you try this and you share it with me please please let me know how you found this re these recipes and not just this one but any recipe thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon oh just before we go I'll show you the, the other uh, pastries these are lovely aren't they so so these are the rest of the pastries we did um, so really nice and cooks really truly and crispy as well you can you can hear the crunch you can so either way whatever you want the one you choose please share share your your uh, recipe with us and thank you very much let us know how you found them enjoy the, the rest of the, the afternoon take care and see you again soon bye